We like to think that technology now is better than it ever was, but when exploring history we find that our ancestors from thousands of years ago can still baffle us with their ingenuity. Despite our advancement, many technologies and inventions from antiquity are still not fully understood by modern day scientists. Here are some of the inventions so much ahead of their time that we still can't explain or recreate. Ancient Greek and Roman historians recorded that during the siege of Syracuse in 212 BC, Archimedes constructed a heat ray weapon to set the Roman warships ablaze. The heat ray of Archimedes used highly polished bronze or copper shields that acted as mirrors to focus the sun's power on incoming enemy ships. Many have tried to recreate this weapon and failed, like Mythbusters, who attempted this not once but several times. This makes the heat ray definitely one of the simplest, yet profoundly advanced technologies ancient people have used. The fact that ancient Roman architecture has managed to stand the test of time for 2000 years is a testament to the advantages Roman concrete has over the concrete used nowadays. This advanced concrete recipe allowed the Romans to erect magnificent structures that no builder would dare attempt today without a support structure of reinforcing steel. Like so many ancient technologies, the recipe for Roman concrete was lost during the descent into the Dark Ages. Geologists and engineers are studying the properties of ancient Roman concrete to solve the mystery of its longevity. It has been theorized to be the result of different substances that the Romans added to their cement, among them volcanic ash, limestone, milk, and even blood. Before magnetic compasses, ancient mariners had to find their way using sundials, which told time and direction by shining a shadow onto a disc. Scientists were puzzled as to how the Vikings were consistently able to travel in a totally straight line from Norway to Greenland and back. In 1948, they found an ancient Viking artifact under an 11th century convent and concluded it was a shockingly advanced compass. It is known as the Unar Tok disc. Medieval records of the device refer to a magic crystal that enabled it to work even when the sun wasn't out. Researchers believe that a certain kind of crystal placed in the device could have created a pattern on the disc when exposed to even dim light. The researchers estimated the plausible accuracy of this so-called twilight compass and found that it was comparable to modern magnetic compasses. Flexible glass or vitrum flexile is a legendary lost invention from the time of Roman Emperor Tiberius Caesar, who reigned between 14 and 37 AD. It was some kind of flexible glass which didn't break, only dented, and could be hammered quickly back into any shape. Tiberius Caesar ordered the execution of a glassmaker because he feared that the new invention would shatter the Roman economy. In 2012, after hundreds of years, the glass manufacturing company Corning first introduced willow glass, flexible enough to be rolled up. However, the original vitrum flexile recipe and characteristics remain lost to time. Silphium was one of the most sought-after drugs of the ancient world and used as one of the earliest forms of birth control by the Romans. It was based on the fruit of a particular genus of the fennel plant, a flowering herb that only grew along some North African shorelines. Women would drink silphium juice every few weeks. This would be enough to prevent pregnancy and, if used correctly, could also act as a method of abortion. Its scarcity, combined with an overwhelming demand, led to over-harvesting, driving the plant to extinction. Because the particular species no longer exists, 
scientists are unable to replicate silphium to see if its powers of contraception were as effective as modern methods. Greek fire was an incendiary weapon developed in the late 7th century and used by the Eastern Roman or Byzantine Empire. The Byzantines had a few different names for Greek fire, like sea fire or liquid fire, and while it wasn't the first incendiary weapon, it was an incredibly successful one. Characteristics that made it singular include its ability to burn on water and stick onto surfaces. It is only extinguishable with sand, vinegar and old urine. Back in the day, nobody knew what ingredients went into the mixture. Armies that captured the liquid along with the machine that delivered it were unable to replicate it. The true Byzantine formula was a secret so closely guarded that its precise composition remains unknown to this day. Damascus steel was an insanely strong type of metal that was widely used in the Middle East from 1100 to 1700 AD. It was mainly used in sword making and was legendary for being both extremely hard and durable as well as acutely sharp. The reputation and history of Damascus steel has given rise to many legends, such as the ability to cut through a rifle barrel or to cut through the blades of weaker swords. Production of these swords gradually declined due to the lack of supply of ores needed for the special recipe, and the technique was lost around the 1750s. Damascus steel is one technology that modern experimenters have been unable to fully reproduce. There are only approximations of the lost technique for real Damascus steel. <laughs>